everyone, and welcome to Collections Uncovered. My name is Lori Williamson in the Collections and Library Departments of the Minnesota Historical Society, and I'm here today with my friend and colleague, Patrick Coleman. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Lori. How are you? Good, thanks. So today we're going to talk about Main Street and Sinclair Lewis in particular. This is a new exhibit that will be opening at the History Center on April 9th. It's been Patrick's lifelong dream, and he's going to start us off with a quote about Main Street, the book. I will t I, I'm not sure it's my lifelong dream, but it has been a long dream. Uh, so uh, the exhibit is opening, uh, was supposed to open for the 100th anniversary of Main Street, which was last October 23rd. Main Street was a publishing phenomena that um, the country hadn't seen before. And I'd like to share this uh, quote with you from John Farrar, who was writing in The Bookman uh, a couple of years after the book came out. And he, uh, he says, his friends all bought the book, then the cognoscenti, then the literati, then the literate, a paltry thousand or so, then the sleeping beast turned over, rubbed its eyes and woke up, 50,000. It howled in an ecstasy of self-torture, 100,000. His publisher estimates that, uh, that it was beyond doubt reached 2 million readers and people are still buying it and reading it for the first time. It was a lot more than either the publisher or uh, Sinclair Lewis, who had already written six books, thought uh, that um, this would sell. And Lewis, in fact, uh, quipped that he didn't think the book was that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Says something about his faith in the American reader. Yeah, that's very snarky of him. Um, so why do you think it has so much resonance and staying power? Um, and, um, and kind of what is your goal of doing this exhibit? Well, the goal in the exhibit is to uh, introduce people or to reintroduce people to, uh, I would argue, Minnesota's most famous uh, person and uh, and to uh, let people know that the books are still uh, fun to read, they're still relevant, and, um, and, and then uh, in the process, we'll dispel a few myths about, uh, about Sinclair Lewis. Hmm. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's take a look at a couple um, covers that are going to be in the exhibit. What does it tell you about <laughs> the fact that there's so many different covers and so many different reprints of this book, Patrick? Well, that's true for all of uh, Lewis's books. We have covers in every decade. We have covers in many languages and, and cultures. And every generation kind of reinvents the way to sell this. It was such a publishing phenomena that it was parodied. There was a book called Tomain Street. Uh, here we see a piece of sheet music for pianos, a Main Street uh, foxtrot, and uh, Main Street was turned into a play. So it was really just an, a, a phenomenon. Hmm. I, and I'm not sure why exactly. Uh, it did have a strong feminist theme. And uh, one of the points that we want to make with this exhibit is that uh, he spoke to the issues of his day and they are still our issues today. Feminism and the role of women in American life is an important issue, of course, now. Lewis also wrote about issues as varied as prison reform, or hypocrisy in, uh, in some uh, religious circles. Mm -hmm. He also tackled the issue of race in mm -hmm. uh, King's Blood Royal where he has his protagonist uh, do some genealogical research at the Minnesota Historical Society and find out that he's 132nd black and uh, embraces his blackness and is uh, ostracized by his community in a fictionalized uh, Duluth. The other issue that people seem to have rediscovered in Lewis is he wrote about fascism coming to America mm -hmm. when a uh, authoritarian figure is elected president of the United States and basically uh, democracy dies. This book was reprinted mm -hmm. on inauguration day for the last administration and immediately became a bestseller in 2017. But it, it has important lessons for us uh, uh, today too. Oh, great. Well, thank you for sharing these with us today. Um, I, I'm, I know that there's a lot more to be seen in the exhibit itself, and I really, really look forward to that. Um, well, thank you for um, <laughs> making your long-held dream a reality for the rest of us to appreciate, enjoy, and learn from, too. So, but, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.